Someone very special I want you to meet. Now, he's probably fast asleep at the moment because he's not very good at getting up on Mondays. I know we'll do a few exercises because that'll wake him up. Come with me. Joggy! Joggy! <gasps> you naughty bear! You made me jump! Give us a bear hug. <coughs> oh. I'll go and draw the curtains. And we'll do a shake-out. What a terrible mess this room is in. It really is quite unbearable. I have told you time and time again to put these toys away. I do not say these things for fun, Joggy. I say it for a reason. You will trip over them and you will hurt yourself. Oh, good. You're ready to do the shakeout. And why don't you join us? Let's start the week. So, feet and legs apart. Let's shake up the arms. Up the go. Feet apart and raise each arm up, up and change. Really pull in that tummy, Joggy. Now a little bit faster. Each arm stretch and up, down. Come on, work at it. Get the energy going for the week. Both elbows back. size of his tummy, feet apart. We're going to pull it in and lean to our sides for the waist. Just gently lean. Pull it in as you go over to your other side. How are you doing? <laughs> Each knee up. How high can you get Crouch all the way down again. Ooh. And let's finish off with a nice big stretch. And give us a lovely hug. Has that woken you up? And I expect that's woken you up too. What special games would you like to play today? He wants to be a big bear and a little bear. We're going to fill that space, so come on down. Really bend the legs, and here we go, as low as you can. Now up we come. Up, 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 up. Straighten the legs. Raise your heels. And hold. Down we go. together in a little ball. Now tightly up you come. How high can you grow? Up to the ceiling, up to the ceiling. And slowly down. Where you can't be seen. All the way down. Now we're going to go up and down and round ourselves. Up, down, up and down, up and down, and then the other way. Now we go, Joggy. Now, Joggy, 
around the room. Find somewhere to hide. And spring! I can still see you, doggy. Come on, bounce out. Up we go. And then back we come. Woo! Round you go. Up you come, doggy. Come on, keep the energy going. Fine, 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 fine. Now, don't let me see you. Hide, hide. No, doggy, I can still see you. You're not hiding when you do that. I can still see this terrible, terrible mess. I hope your room isn't like this. What a mess. You stay and tidy up. We'll see you later. Now, you get on with it. Tidy up. <laughs> It's Tuesday. Oh, hello. I expect you've come to see Joggy. Not sure where he is at the moment, but by the sounds of it, I think he's in the bathroom. Joggy? Joggy, are you in the bathroom? Ah, he's doing his teeth. I hope you've done yours today, too. You're making your bed. Uh, ah, did you wash properly this morning, Joggy? Let me just uh, check. Uh, Let me look in your ears. Uh, that looks nice and clean, Bob. Uh, what about the other one? Uh, oh, yes. Uh, Good boy. Now, have you sponged your face? Uh, uh, what about combed your hair? Uh, now, let me look in your mouth and your teeth. Are they nice and clean? Uh, yes. Uh, that looks very good. Then uh, you can have a bear hug. Uh, 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 what would you like to do today? We'll do a shake-out and we'll join in. So here we go. Shake it up and down and again. And let's keep bringing those legs up. Swing the arms. We've got lots of energy today. Jump side to side. Ooh. Now feet apart, we're going to punch eight in front. Hit it hard and back. Now up to the ceiling, stretch it up. Come from behind the shoulders again, in front. Come on, Joggy. Up, let's get that weight off you. Come on then, hit towards me. And then bring your knee up across the body and give it a little back. If you can, and change. Now we need to go marching on the spot, really stomp it. Great, Joggy. Get the energy. Clap a bow. Let's practice the punishment again. Oh, hey, 
hands, knees and ups a daisy. My favourite game. Let's today do my favourite game. You can learn it too. Let's just sway. And we'll learn all the different areas of the body. First of all, clap your hands. Hands, knees and wiggle again. Hands, knees. <laughs> hands, knees and your head. Yes, again. Hands, knees. Something else. Hands, knees. Dance your toes. All the long way down. Today's Wednesday. Hello, Joggy. Why are you sounding so cross today? What's the problem? Ah, you're still trying to work out the difference between your right and left. It's quite simple. Sit comfortably. Now concentrate. See, one of your problems, Joggy, is you don't sit still. How can your poor bear brain have a chance to remember things if you're fidgeting around? So you've got to learn to sit still. And I don't like you seeing you so cross, Joggy. What about my bear hug? Yes! That's better. Right, are you ready to learn the difference between your right and left? Let's see how you can do. And remember, you have to sit still. So let's sit down on the floor. You join us. Now, I'll face you. You keep an eye on Joggy and you can test yourselves as well. Now, first of all, before we start the shakeout, show me your right arm. Well done, well done. Now, show me your left. That's right, Joggy, sit still. Concentrate, concentrate. Raise your right arm up in the air. And your left. Did you get it right? Well done. This is what you do for the shake-out. You shake out your right. Come on, Joggy. Shake out your left. And then shake up your right arm. Shake up your left right up in the air. Now you can shake both if you got it right. And give yourselves a little clap. Now, when you cross the road, you need to know the difference between your right and left, don't you? So sit still and turn your head to your right. Good boy, Joggy. Back to the centre. Then you've got to check the other side and turn to your left. Back to the centre. And then you'd have to look to your right again to check nothing else was coming. So look to your right and back. So we'll do a little bit more practice than that, I think, later on, all right? Now, show me your right. Show me your left, show me your right, show me your left, now show me your left again. No, Joggy, your left, think, show me your left. 
Well done. Have you got your left one up? And your right. And up in the air with both. Right, come round. Let's have a look at those legs. I keep thinking, which is your right, which is your left? Up with your legs. Well done. We'll play a game in a minute. Then you can move around, but keep the <laughs> okay, Joggy. Anything you can do, I can do better. Yes, I can. Oh, yes, I can. Anything you can do, I know I can do better. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Can you balance on one knee? Up with it. Not quite. Change legs. Sometimes it's easier with Now we're going to lunge. Then the front leg. Lunge to your side. Change. Bend your front leg. Very good. Now, straighten the front leg. Take the leg behind you. Like this. Hold it. Try not to fall over. Change legs. Can you manage? Now, can you turn round without getting giddy? Keep your eyes open. And then the other way. How's that? <laughs> well, I still think anything you can do, I could do better. Oh, yes, I did. Oh, yes, I did. Down we go. Come on down. Now, see if you can go rowing. Can you do it? And then who can touch their toes? Joggy, that's cheating. I didn't say put your foot in your mouth. You've got to reach forward and touch your toes. He's been a bit cross today, hasn't he? Oh, don't look embarrassed, Joggy. We all get cross at some time or other, don't we? And you just remember, Joggy, that the next time we go out shopping or when we go out in the street, we know the difference now between our right and left. So whenever you cross the road, remember, you look to your right, you look to your left, and then you look to your right again. So when we go out, that's what we do. And we'll see you then. <laughs> It's Thursday. I can see what you're doing, Joggy. I've had a bear wave. You're getting so fat. We'll do the exercises double time. Joggy, that tummy and that waist seems to have disappeared. I mean, look at it. Where is your waist? It's full of sweets. And I have said just a few sweets every day. Not huge handfuls of sweets. What about your teeth? 
Mind you, Doggy, it's very good of you to think of Little Bear's figure. Oh, oh, Don't oh. think you've given him quite as many sweets as you've given yourself. Do you think it's time to do the shake-out now? Come on. I think we best clear this mess up first, Joggy. We'll trip over it. Your room gets worse every day. Now, Little Bear, you sit there and watch us from there. Joggy, I'll take that, I think. Right. Now, today's shake-out will start with your feet. Let's move you over here. Feet and legs apart. Hands on your hips, find your hips, and we'll turn from side to side. Pull in that tummy. And then we'll circle our arm four times. Round it goes. A big circle. Change arms. Now, can you manage three circles with both? Right round. Now, arms bent in front of you. Bend your legs and turn. One, two. Keep turning that side. Can you feel your waist beginning to come back, Joggy, as you turn to your other side? down as you do it. Now we'll do single turns. Round, front. Now we're going to make the legs do the work. Hands back on your hips and we're going to bend and come up. Bend, up. Try not to lean forward, Joggy. Make the legs bend. to bend, up with the arms, bend, can you do that a little bit faster? There. Hands back on your hips, bend your legs and lean to the side for your waist. again and a big stretch up oh hold your arms up joggy the tummy's getting a little bit better and down with your arms but i think after all the sweets he's been eating we best keep on the move the whole day right we're gonna go round the room round the house and keep at it getting that weight down we need to keep him on the move today don't we I know. We'll do the conga. I'll teach it to you, Joggy. It's quite simple. It's very easy to do. It goes just like this. Give a little wiggle, and it's got three walks, and then a kick. It goes a one, two, three, a one, two, three. That's got it. Now bring it forward. Kick towards us. Take it back again. Find my waist, Joggy. Go on, hold on to it. Found it? Take longer to find it. Take it forward and kick. Round we go. Ooh, get under your plane, Joggy. Did you duck? Where should we go next? Come with us. Secret garden. 
And what day is it? It's Friday. What is all that noise? Whatever is Johnny up to? What do you think he's doing? No, I don't think he's tidying up. You mind those springs, Joggy Bear. It can barely take your weight. Have you seen what he's been doing to my jumper? Walking all over it? How am I expected to get these paw prints off? And it's not going to fit you until you lose a bit of weight. Now then, what about a bear hug? Yes! I see you've got your pop star glasses on. We'll have to teach you a few steps to go with it. First of all, we'll do a shake out. One more thing to Joggy. What's today? It's Friday. <laughs> Give us a little wiggle. Hips. I decided. I want to swing those hips. And now back to back. And now big circles all the way round. This will help you on one side. You managing? Now the other way. And steer them round. Now just one leg, raise your heel. All the way round. That's got it. Take the arms out for balance. Other side. <laughs> now climb the ropes. Reach up. Towards this reach for us. Now take it straight up again. Up you go. Step and kick across your body. Step. Hold on for balance if you're losing your balance, Joggy. Can you manage without? Better. And round with your hips again. dance steps we need to practice because you get into your first dance class tomorrow how's about do you still want to be when you grow up to be a big bear a pop star not sure well, why don't you go and get your drum and we can get some practice what do you want to be when you grow up to be a big person well you give that some thought and we'll practice being a pop star Ah, uh, have you decided who you want to be, Joggy? OK, I'll take these and I'll sit and watch here. Got it. And again. Oh, 
this. Doggy, you're too slow. Let me try another one. A goal! <laughs> well done, well done. Well, you want to be lots of things, Joggy, don't you? Have you decided what you want to be? You keep practising and we'll keep practising. <laughs> Now for our special time, Saturday. Hello there. I'm a little bit busy at the moment, a bit behind with the chores. Why don't you go ahead and do the shake-out with Joggy, and I'll join you later. Morning, Joggy! They're coming up right now. to come to your dance class. <gasps> oh, you cheeky bear! Ooh, great! That means you're ready to come. Come on, we'll be late. Come on, Joggy. Yes, yes, I've got the key. Now, come on, we'll be late. Mind how you go. Right, come on. <laughs> oh, Joggy, you're meant to be fit. Come on. Up, two, three, four. Up with those paws. Up, two, three, four. Hold my hand. Excuse me. Yeah! Now pick your feet up. Up, two, three, four. Up, two, three, four. Now we're nearly there. Right, remember that curb drill? Look to your right, look to your left, to your right. There's something coming. Go carefully, go carefully. Go 
Jenny, if he stands next to you, will you help him? He's never been to a dance class before, and Joggy, I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. I'll just get rid of the jackets. Now, we have done something very special for you, Joggy. There's a new dance craze. It's a bear dance, and it has a very special Joggy bear walk, all right? Now, I've got a bear behind, so I'll take it slowly. So, are you ready? Yeah! This is it! Start by tapping and stepping and touching to practice the bear walk. Here we go. Let the head go. Back four times and crouch. Pick up the feet and click and repeat it. Step and touch. Back you go. Round. Now step and touch to the side. Foot behind. Carry on, arms up. Jump the feet together and to the side. Turn your head. How are you doing? Yeah. Click your hand. And a little bounce with it. Change. All right, Joggy? <laughs> up with your arm. Four times. Punch. And down. Up. Change arms. Down, up. And take it back with the thumb. Lots and change. And we're going to turn to our side, swooping. Clap. And then 16 jumps across. Get the energy going, kids. Up the legs. And that completes your dance. Well done, well done. Now let's get that joggy bear walk right so we're going to practice toe heel toe heel jutting the head forward and back so try it with us going to the side four forward and four back and push and two and three go back toe heel toe heel toe heel and forward again one and two and three go back and one and two and three and four. Right, are you ready then? Did you manage that, Joggy? <laughs> well done! Right, shall we try the whole dance and see what you can remember? Here we go! And that toe heel. Now try that walk to your side. Toe heel, toe heel. Back you go. One, two, three, four, and round. Try it again. anymore because poor old dog is looking rather tired so why don't you go home teach your family and friends you practice too we'll meet up again soon so take away the bear walk
Oh, You're oh, so oh, heavy! Oh, oh, oh. He's a bareback rider! Oh! Oh, Joggy! Oh. That was a long walk home. You look tired. Why don't you snuggle up into bed and I'll read you a story. There's a story in here about a pop concert. So I'll take my jacket off and put on my jumper to keep warm and then, Joggy, we'll open the storybook. If you're barely comfortable. Are you sitting comfortably? Mm -hmm. Then we will begin. The story is called Joggy and his first pop concert. Tonight is a very special night because Joggy is going to his very first pop concert. His favourite group, Bruno and the Brunettes, are playing at the local town concert hall. Now, Joggy's seen them perform lots of times on television but never in person, live on stage. Right now, Joggy is getting ready for his first big night out. And just listen to the noise coming from his bedroom. Boom, boom, twangs the guitar. Grunt, grunt, sings Joggy as he croaks along to the latest number one hit record by Bruno. His whole bedroom is filled with noise as he prances around, practising the dance steps that go with the chorus. Well, one, a two, a one, two, three, gasps Joggy as he tries to jump, kick, step and turn. And as he does it the third time, he tries too hard. He trips over a box of toys and lands heavily on his bottom. Ouch! He cries, which soon turns to, oh dear, as he realises that he sat on one of his best books. Joggy's bedroom is in a terrible mess. Comics and books lie scattered all over his bed and the floor you can hardly see for toys. The only part that looks at all tidy is under the window because that's where he spends hours checking and cleaning and painting all the bits and pieces for his remote control car. The record stops and Joggy looks at his watch. I'd better start to get ready. I don't want to be late. Joggy stood and looked in the mirror and pondered on what to wear. He certainly couldn't go in the scruffy old track suit he was wearing. He opened his wardrobe door and took out a very smart suit. He held it up against himself and wondered if it was a trifle too smart. Still clutching the suit, he reached for one of his favourite track suits, a bright red one with the initial J embroidered on it. No, that doesn't look right either. Oh dear, I'd forgotten I'd spilled a glass of milk down it. What a nasty large stain it has on it. Then he had a bear wave. What about the silver glitter top he'd made when he was a king in one of the school plays? Joggy rummaged through the rail of clothes and there, right at the end, was the silver top. Now that, thought Joggy, will do nicely. I'll wear the silver top with the red tracksuit bottoms. Joggy quickly got dressed and stood proudly looking at himself in the mirror. Oh, he could almost pass as a pop star himself. He brushed his paws through his hair and patted his ears glanced around his bedroom. Oh dear, he decided he really didn't have enough time to tidy up, but he promised himself he would do it when he got home. He checked he had his ticket in his pocket, and in the other pocket, enough money to buy a programme and some popcorn. So, Joggy set off, excitedly closing the front door, not knowing what to expect from his very first pop concert. Through the town centre he jogged, past his school, past the park with the play swings and onto the concert hall. And as he approached, he was amazed at what he saw. It seemed that the whole town had turned out to see Bruno and the brunettes. There was such a long queue stretching 
all the way around the building. Oh, everybody looks so excited. And Joggy recognised quite a few friends from his school. Now, Joggy had arranged to sit next to Lulu Bear. She was in the same class as Joggy, and just like Joggy, she knew every single word of all Bruno's songs. Hello, said Joggy when he found Lulu in the queue. Oh, I say, he said, oh, you look smashing. And he gave her a big, friendly bear hug. And Lulu certainly looked very pretty in her lovely pink frock with a glittering necklace around her neck. Oh, what a dainty, delicate bear neck she has. Oh, she looked so pretty. They bought their programmes and Joggy shared his popcorn with Lulu as they sat in their seats and waited. Everybody was filled with an anticipation as the lights went down in the packed concert hall. It went very quiet. And then a huge spotlight appeared on stage out of the darkness like magic. And there, leaping into action in time to the music, was Bruno himself, singing in the flesh, not behind a television screen. And what was Bruno wearing? You'll never guess. Joggy couldn't believe his eyes. It was a glittering silver top, just like his own. <gasps> what excitement for Joggy! Look, Lulu, he's wearing my silver top, cried Joggy. But Lulu couldn't hear a word Joggy was saying. The music was so loud and the shouts and singing of the audience so deafening. <gasps> what an exciting night, thought Joggy, as he stood up out of his seat to clap his paws together and sway his bare body in time to the music, and the audience loved it. Some of them even left their seats to dance in the aisles, and when Bruno sang his more famous hits, the audience, including Joggy and Lulu, joined in. Well, fortunately, no one could hear Joggy's croaking voice. It was too noisy. Mind you, no one would have minded, because everybody was having such a wonderful time. <gasps> Joggy stared, mesmerised, at the huge spotlight on the stage. There, before his very own eyes, was Bruno leaping around, full of energy, dancing as he sang. The guitarist twanged away and the drummer bashed hard on the drums when he wasn't twirling the drumsticks in the air like a magician. Somehow, the three brunettes behind Bruno managed to look as if they were dancing as one and the same person. Every step, every nod of the head, every swing of the arm was exactly the same. Joggy nudged Lulu with his elbow and pointed at the brunettes. They grinned at each other. Ooh, to dance like the brunettes, thought Joggy. When I get home, he said, I'm going to tidy up my bedroom and practice and practice until I'm as good as the brunettes. Well, finally, the pop show came to an end. The audience pleaded with them to sing some more. They clapped and shouted and stamped their feet. More, more, more! And Joggy felt his paws stinging from all the clapping and his voice sore from all the shouting. But he didn't mind. The spotlight went out on the stage and the evening sadly had finished. Lulu and Joggy left the concert hall with the music ringing in their ears. Oh, that's a night I shall never forget, said Lulu. Her eyes shone and sparkled almost as much as her glittering necklace. Me too, said Joggy enthusiastically. When I grow up, I definitely want to be a pop dancer. I'm off home, Lulu, to practice. But you know what happened when Joggy got home and he opened his bedroom door? He took one look at his untidy room. <gasps> I'm so tired from dancing at the concert, he said. I'm going to snuggle up in bed. I'll definitely do it all tomorrow. And he fell fast asleep with a big grin across his face as he thought about the wonderful evening he'd had at his very first pop concert. There. Yeah.
Just look at that bear. He's fast asleep. And he didn't even give me a bear hug. Why don't you and I practice the pop dance to see how well you can remember the dance? Then we can be like the brunettes too. I'll occasionally tell you what to do and then you can test yourselves. Remember how it starts? Eight claps. On the spot, that bear walk. And then away you go. You stay fit, stay healthy, keep practicing, and I'll see you on Monday. Yeah.